And I, I just want to, to say that uh, we started late, but it really has nothing to do with Indigenous. <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> but, I, um, but I also, in saying what, uh, we're really glad that we're doing this and, uh, you know, uh, over the year, uh, my friend uh, Doug Cox and I have been talking about how to bring uh, the Indigenous voice together and how to celebrate that voice and, and we thought about Wilts Gamal, so coming tribes coming together uh, to share that spirit and share that voice and, and this is that dream and so we, we really look forward to sharing that with you. Uh, in doing that as well, it's really important, like how my family, uh, you know, we walk in the world, is that uh, I am uh, Kofakiwak, uh, part New Channel, and I'm also uh, North Vancouver Island Coast Salish from here. Uh, and my family are Ayuksin, uh, people of the sun. And so what we do is that we, um, we're really in part of our healing, uh, part of our decolonizing, and a part of how we have consciously chose to walk in the world is to make sure that we follow our traditional protocols. And, uh, and in doing so, um, when we were preparing for the Wibelskema, uh, we thought about that. And, and uh, we're going to sing a song to start us off to welcome you in. It's like our ancestors welcome you to ashore, and we're welcome you in. And really what we're hoping to do with that welcoming is, is begin to mentor that way of hosting one another. Uh, and if we host in a good way, uh, we land in the place that we need to be, right? Uh, our canoes are beached, uh, we're, we're sitting together, and we're sharing a, a spirit that comes from a very deep, meaningful place. And, uh, and that's Wuwalskama. That's us coming together. So with that, I want to ask our relatives to do their traditional welcome. ask us uh, to do, we, and this is handed down to us, and remember that there's an artfulness to hosting one another. And uh, the first person, uh, the first hosting is with ourselves, and they always ask, how are you showing up? How are you hosting you? Are you open? Are you curious? Are you willing to be in a place in which we generate that love together? That's a really important way of hosting. And then we turn our thoughts to how we host others. And hosting others is that, are we friendly, are we welcoming? Uh, do you feel like you're coming home for the first time? And that's hosting you. And so when you're thinking about that, and then as, as if I was inviting you to my house at Christmas time, 
you would come in and you would be seated and you'd be fed and I'd ask you about yourself and you would tell me about yourself and your experiences. I'm your guest in that moment. So the question becomes, how am I being your guest? You know, am I welcoming your story into my spirit and my life? Am I genuine with that? And in that way, when we come together, uh, we're weaving our, our spirits together like a basket. And it holds uh, the spirit of each other in a meaningful way. So much so that uh, the elders told me that when we say Gela Kesla, when we're, it could be mean hello. Gela Kesla can mean thank you. Gela Kesla can mean sharing breath and spirit together. And that's a really beautiful way of hosting. And uh, so I really welcome you. This is going to be a beautiful ride this afternoon.